Wow, folks, well, we that was talk an about interesting incest anymore. green room. Yeah, no incest. No, those jokes are funny. Necrophilia. Only small groups. Folks, welcome to Burger Hello Inc. Uh, it was supposed to be the Calamity Edition, but that ain't going to happen tonight because one short. Uh, so we've got an interesting one shot uh, prepared for you. Follow us on Twitch, follow us on Twitter, take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to shoot shit about D&D, &D, join our Discord. If you want to buy cool stuff like shirts, the phone cases, the shower curtains, the throw rugs, uh, the women's underwear on the not safe for work site, any of that <laughs> crap, the links are down below. Uh, don't forget, if you want to be on a one shot next week, uh, nope, sorry. Next week is not a one shot. Next week is uh, a continuation of last year's Christmas item uh, where we are all goblins. Uh, Carol's going to be running that. So, But if you want to be on the talk show on Tuesdays uh, or a future one shot, Hit us up, mhobo inc, Twitter or Gmail. We will get you on there. Uh, if you're in the market for custom dice, and who doesn't need more dice, uh, go over to Twitter and find at Pirate Dog Dice. Hit them up, tell them what you would like, see if they have the time to go ahead and do it. If they do, they'll go ahead and make you a custom set. Uh, and if your game stinks, unlike ours, ours smells like raging success and humor. Uh, try some adventure sense from oddfishgames.com. It will put a great sentient spin on your games. Uh, it comes in over 60 cents. So check them out at oddfishgames.com. Also, if you want to write like me, only gooder, check out their Shine system. Uh, they are still working on getting the uh, Kickstarter fulfilled for How to RPG with Your Cat. So please be patient. That being said, folks, these are three of the four Calamity members uh, participating in a one shot third level should be a hoot uh let's introduce you to them we'll start with uh jesse jesse you're up first who are you who are you playing uh hi i'm jesse uh you can find me on all the socials at jr wooey usually i play the uh leon and ranger azari or uh the uh thunder from down under coda on the b side <laughs> Uh, but tonight I will be playing uh, Kelsier, the half-vampire bard. Great. <laughs> <laughs> There's no such thing as inappropriate touch in his mind. That's true, uh, because he's one of those evil fuckers. Is he yes, not? he's a he's a bit of a uh, talker, a little, little spinner of tales. Great. That should make tonight interesting. Next up is Rob. Rob, same questions, different answers. Oh, hey, I'm Rob, and um, you can find me here on Murder Hobo and either of the Calamity campaigns. I play Dave, the <laughs> homely barbarian, or um, Brother Cup, the very, very helpful cleric. Um, and on one shots like this occasionally, and every once in a while I make an appearance on Between the Rolls, but um, I'm on the socials at Cthulhu Rob, and uh, I'm going to be playing Flynn Errolson, a buccaneer. Nice. Not Flynn that's Rider. How, that's how much he gets paid. Buccaneer. <laughs> Last wow. but certainly not least is Carrie, who was pulling a Kyle and forgot to get dice out of it. I did. Nice. There you go. Who are you? Who are you how playing? How could you forget to get dice out? <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Uh, my name is Carrie. I fill in on uh, his campaign. When, well, of course, I guess I won't be filling in anymore. I'll just be there. Um, yeah. And I play on Cacophony. And tonight I am playing a tabaxi. Gilly Weeds. Because Carol loves tabaxi. She's a tabaxi racist, everybody. Uh, folks, if you saw the intro, you know what these guys are doing. Uh, you guys, I sent you the intro, but I'll go ahead and go over it for those who are late oh. in joining us. You guys have just finished uh, dealing with a goblin horde of raiders. Uh, you guys are feeling pretty tough, pretty full of yourselves. And you're wandering into the nearby town to get a little hot meal and uh, maybe a warm bed for the night. Uh, the only problem is, is you guys wander into town. And let me go ahead and throw that up for everybody. Uh, you guys wander into I town like to <clears throat> and you hear uh, a woman yell out a curse upon you all for this. And as you rush around this corner right here, you come into the plaza and you find a woman tied to the stake in the town square and fire 
is rushing up her body and she screams out in pain. Uh, maybe a little green haze of smoke goes skyward. Uh, she is surrounded by a bunch of townspeople. Uh, and as her head slumps against her charred corpse, an official looking dude holding a parchment loudly proclaims justice has been done. Uh, the crowd nods in agreement and then notices your approach uh, because, you know, I've got a goth half vampire, an uh, upright cat, and Flynn Rider, <laughs> a buccaneer in a landlocked country. Uh, are you by any chance related to the Von Trapps? Kind of, yeah. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Uh, there you go. Uh, the official uh, proclaims the division of property will now take place. There are about 30 people around milling about. Some of them move towards the official to get a little loot. Uh, the others just tend to mill about and start to head back towards the buildings. What would you guys like to do? I'm not going near that fire. <laughs> I will singe my whiskers. It smells of murder in this town. Although, it would be warm. Oh, it smells of injustice. Probably false accusations. Wait, is that lilac? Mm, not that I breathe, so. It's, uh, yeah, so what fucked up place did we walk into, everyone? You inhale the yeah. fumes of the dead witch and suddenly are possessed with her evil. Uh, you guys are in the town of Tanks, T-A-N-X. Uh, it's really more of a Thorpe. Uh, everybody give me our can of rolls. Let's tanks see what for the is. memories. No, tanks you. An arcana roll. Ooh, uh, good start. Oh, yeah. 16. Six, uh, 6 16. 18. 18. Uh, the cat continues to clean herself while Flynn and Kelsier uh, think uh, this is a it's like a merchant hub. This is like a pea break between Chicago and Indianapolis. Uh, so you guys are aware that merchants come here on their way from bigger towns. Uh, there are three exits out of town. Each leads to a much bigger town. Uh, so you guys are aware that while it is a podunk place, eh, you know, it probably has an inn. So uh, we could probably get a room and then uh, hang out until we can get a job to get us to a bigger town. Sure. Yeah, I, I, I mean, worst came to worst, we'd walk. But... Yeah. Or, I'm not walking that far. Or, well, car car caravansary is always a good idea. Oh, true. Or we could investigate what happened and slowly eliminate people in the town. Eliminate nope. the people of the town? A suspicion or eliminate? I don't know. Take it as you will. I'm leaving it open for suggestion. Uh, throat puncher Carrie is ready to do some damage. <laughs> uh, well, you have the official looking dude. Uh, he is human. Uh, and then you have multiple people uh, milling about. Uh, as you guys are trying to decide, uh, there is dispensing of the woman's uh, baubles that she owned. Oh, is this is this for auction or is this going to specific people for their uh, tasks? Give me an insight. Do they have any string? D twelve against me for string. Eleven. Ugh, Ten. They do not. Uh, Sixteen on my insight check. Sixteen. Uh, it looks as though uh, the people taking the items are. All women except for one who's dressed in an apron covered in flour. Ah. Baker. <clears throat> it was at 210 Street. <laughs> yeah. Um, excuse me, ladies. Uh, are these items all being taken for specific use, or is this just what did she do by chance? Uh, what's your charisma? 19. I'm a sexy beast. Uh, the first one rolls a three and says, get your mitts off. This one's mine. Oh, no, uh, you can keep it, Karen. I'm just asking. 
about that's these. not going to endear you to her. <laughs> <laughs> but the next one seems quite taken, I, aka smitten with you. And it is, let's see, it is a child. Sir, uh, we are the victims of the witch. We are allowed to take the possessions taken from her as compensation for us. Uh, a very yeah. well healed child. <laughs> well, child, uh, are you not all afraid of curses that witches can place upon items? The dead don't offer curses, my friend. Who says she did not curse them before she had died? As I did here as walking into the town, a curse upon you all. It might be that you, uh, your very item could kill you in your sleep. The uh, woman that was particularly insulted by you grabs a hold of her granddaughter's hand and says, don't talk to the stranger and drives her away. Uh, oh, I uh. cackle. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. No. Go ahead, our friend. <clears throat> I hope the curse takes you. <laughs> Not till she's 13. <laughs> wow. Well, if she's you getting regular dairy, dairy, it might be earlier. <laughs> um, I'm not watching this murder hobo show anymore. <laughs> yeah. Um, Ideally, folks, this is for mature audiences. Wait, Thank is she a virgin? <laughs> I, I would imagine she, she's not. <laughs> I would hope so. I have what a necromancer friend that might need. Oh, hold on, because I am what just a giant is this? asshole. <laughs> oh, one or a two says she's not. Ah, twenty. Um, Guaranteed, okay. she is a virgin. Oh, well, thank God. I wonder if two on a what die. I thought he was rolling a d6. <laughs> murder hobo. <over> it. Yeah. <laughs> so, so uh, would you like to speak to anybody else? Everybody, perception check first, though. Hmm. Oh wow! This is it not going well? Perception. What is that again? Five. Oh, wow, that's a d12. Thirteen. Maybe there's some trinkets. I did that too, Jesse. <laughs> Eleven. Uh, yeah, you guys don't notice something, so that's fine. good. Uh, you guys do notice that some of the items being divvied up are brass buttons, an old leather bag, some baubles. Uh, you pick up the scent of lavender <laughs> mm. uh, and other spices uh, and other minor items, maybe a pipe or something of that nature. Um, I'm going to I want to wander over and, and palm the thimble out of my pocket and be like, um, did you drop this to the first person I see? First person you see is odd even, odd male, an elderly male. Uh, I mean, I'll, I'll stoop down like I'm picking it up out of the dirt. It has to be someone who's trying to th take things from the table. That's okay. my... Uh, D12 position. against me. Uh, it, well, uh, 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 oh, that's an 11. Uh, oh, I guess I did. Thank you very much. Then I hand him the thimble. Okay. God, I've been trying to get rid of that thing for two levels. <laughs> wow. Is that the cursed one? Uh-huh. Okay. <laughs> you said I had to get somebody to take it. That's true. Uh, I did. I completely <laughs> spaced that one. Couldn't just leave it <laughs> somewhere. No, cursed. Got to carry uh, it. The curse the upon you all. <laughs> You killed this witch, not this witch. Yeah. Which witch <laughs> is which? Uh, the official uh, now pronounces the distribution of goods is done. He looks down and he sees one, two, three, four, five, six, two, the tabaxi. Uh, oh, Jesus. Rangers? Well, uh, I wasn't born here. <laughs> Stranger and, and I'm going to do a con or charisma check to see if he hates you as well. Uh, he does not. He doesn't care. He goes, I thought you were strangers. Welcome. Welcome to the sound, uh, the uh, village of tanks. I myself am the Akalde. You may call me Paolo. The what? Paolo? Akalde. He is a magistrate. Ah, Paolo, the magistrate. It kind of like a mayor domo, but you know, just a bit of a difference. We're going Venezuelan tonight. 
Pablo, ¿dónde está la biblioteca? We do not have a library here. Ah. Ah, well, that says a lot. Then he starts rattling off words no a lot like fellatio. Ah, have you met Colonel Angus? He died in the war here. Yes. Uh, but the magistrate is rather friendly. Uh, he, he looks like an adventurer type. Hmm. Well, Magistrate, uh, what did this uh, woman, apparently was a witch? <clears throat> yes. What she had is. she done? Uh, she attempted to steal that little girl right over there. You see a seven-year-old girl uh, still hugging her mom's... Uh, Wait, is she a virgin? Yes. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Vax, you're like that. Or... She felt violated by the witch, but is still a virgin. <laughs> hmm. Let me think on that. Yeah, you're just going to keep making me roll until I get a one or two. <laughs> uh, hey. the, the young girl, Mara, there was uh, tried to uh, kidnapped, uh, almost get kidnapped by the witch named Cora. Uh, Cora the witch. Uh, her bro Mara's brother actually witnessed it, and it was witnessed by one of the farmers in the field. Uh, trust me, uh, since you are new to this area, I will tell you that justice was served. Uh, it was swift, and it was fair. A fair trial was granted, and she gave no defense at her action. What kind of trial? What happens in the trial? Are you slow? <laughs> uh, I call that answer court, your question. Court, courts, uh, courts. It, it, it was a six eyes. panel uh, group. None of the witnesses were on the jury. Uh, all six members uh, found the witch guilty. So, mm. did any of the six members get a distribution of her mm -hmm. items? No, they were not victims. <clears throat> okay. So, I don't so... care anymore. The other people, uh, the others, uh, other than obviously the girl was uh, the only victim named. The others, people who grabbed things were victims as well. They were accosted or... The witch uh, threatened them directly. Uh, could it be that they just don't mind their own fucking business? <laughs> Charisma check, persuasion. Oh, yeah. This is a uh, this is a skill I'm good at. I have a yep. plus. I have a plus so roll a one. <laughs> yeah. Oh no, that's a uh, sixteen <laughs> plus eight, twenty-four. Uh, while it is true most people in small <laughs> villages do not mind their <clears throat> own fucking business, uh, <laughs> uh, these people were accosted by the degenerate witch without uh, acclamation or provocation. Mm. How do we know? There's bullshit. We are all reflex. good people here. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> and this is why they're called murder hobos, folks. <laughs> uh... The Akalde asks if you have uh, obtained room. Uh, no, I have not. Uh, if I may, I am an uh, investigator of sorts, a finder of. Uh... Truth, a uh, a uh, cousin of Colonel Angus, if you will. Uh, <laughs> might I speak with some of the people uh, upon the morrow, giving them because some time to rest? Goblins, sure. Yes, uh, as uh, obviously a witch in a town such as this is uh, something to truly be a bit unnerved about. As uh, did she have any relatives? Indeed. Ah, uh, D12 against oh, me, Gilly. my. Could we ask questions Eight. tomorrow after... She has a sister. Oh, bathing, where does a sister live? Drinking and eating and bathing again. I don't know. Uh, Kelsier, you may interview anyone you would like. Flynn, uh, he gives you directions to the inn. Mm. And Gilly, he points out that the sister's name is Dara. Kara yeah. and Dara. Let's head to the inn and relax our weary bones and maybe find out what's. Is there is any milk around here? Town. Dairy. Oh, yes. 
Hopefully they have some at the end. There's milk at uh, the tavern or milk at the stables. Ooh. Stable milk? Ew. Would you rather have unstable milk? Maybe. I am chaotic neutral. And someone's in the latrine all night long. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Chunky. Uh, I will the... follow you too. Okay. I do not care to think about it any longer. Right. Shocker. Onward. Yeah, you should have so, told him the background on your character. Uh, so Casa Mendoza is the inn. Right uh, next to the cat tavern. Cantina, the Diablo Cantina. Bueno. You guys walk through the uh, small pathway that you walk through first. And ta-da, there is Casa Mendoza. It is a two-story establishment. Uh, everything else in this place is one story, so it's pretty noticeable. Uh, it, it's not in bad shape. It seems to be okay. It's not from any creepy <clears throat> weirdo movies. Uh, it's got shutters. Uh, it is stuccoed, I believe. Yes. Mm. It is stuccoed uh, with painted images along the wall, indicating that it is a an abode uh, for travelers. Nice place. Surprising for a town like this. Oh, <clears throat> rooms. Rooms, please. Uh, we walk in and meet with Jerome Mendoza. Uh, greetings, greetings, travelers. Uh, by the looks of it, you guys need a room or two. Good news for you. Uh, the merchant caravan just left yesterday, so I've got rooms available. Do you have three rooms, as there are three of us? D12? Yep. Nine. One. Uh, yeah, I got three rooms. One for we, each of you. Yes, we'd like each a room. I need a window with mine. They all have windows. We believe wow. in a lot of open space here. Okay. Uh, would you like first floor or would you like second floor? Second floor has a small balcony. First floor is at ground level. Second floor, please. Uh, second you, floor, yeah, that, sure. that works. Uh, I have three rooms, two on one side, one on the other. Uh, it will be one gold piece a piece. Uh, you guys have just knocked off Goblin Raiders, so money is not going to be an issue for you guys at this point. Uh, as you go upstairs, go to the rooms. Like I said, two on one side, one on the other. You find each room is clean, comfortable rooms uh, with a nice straw bed. Uh, everybody go ahead and give me a constitution roll to see how you like the bed. Jesus. Oh, great. I love the bed. 19. <clears throat> Oh, actually, 21. Sorry. Forgot to add my bonus. Same. 21. Oh, yeah. You guys get comfy back. Seven. Gilly's sleeping on straw. <laughs> I swear. Wow. Did, is this what they use in the prison around here? This is horrible. <laughs> it's a thread count, too. <laughs> I may not know much, but I stayed at a Hilton last night, so. I pulled down the curtains and put it over my bed. Uh, D12 against me. Three. Ten. Uh, that will afford you a little bit more comfort. Uh, you're really going to like it in the morning when that sun comes blazing through. Well, I'm a cat. Of course I will. Yeah. Uh, that's true. Uh, you guys found the rooms to be acceptable. It's all, almost dinner time. Uh, is there a bath to be had? Uh, there is a bath out back uh, for a couple of shillings. Uh D12 against me. Let's see how many it is. Nine. Oh, I got a. Oh, I got a nine also. Reroll. Eight. I got an eleven. Uh, it is a two banger side by side. I am not but, bathing. That's disgusting. Yeah. Sitting in your gonna, filthy water. You're just gonna lick yourself. That's fine. What'd you say, Kelsier? I'll use the. I'll use it. That's fairly nice for this place. Heck right? yeah! I'll watch. Got their own bath. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely want to soak the uh, Goblin Raider fighting out of my muscles I'm and a get cat. all right. Yeah. I don't care. Get the uh, Goblin goop out of my hair. 
Yeah. Oh, All the blood yeah. from the yeah. destruction that you guys have wrought. Yeah. Uh, you guys enjoy the bath. Go ahead and give me a straight up D20 roll. Let's see how you like it. Oh, 16. Oh, yeah. You love uh, it. 14. Yeah, Kelsier, uh, Flynn took most of the hot water, but it's still not a bad thing for you. Uh, it's better than nothing. He also used the butt brush first. Uh. Just <laughs> That's okay. I'll just soak. I'll just soak. <laughs> Yeah, uh, do, do half vampires even defecate? What? Uh, no, actually, we don't. Uh, we can't. We really I don't so. eat. I eat regular food just for show. Uh, preferably, if given the option, I prefer the life energy of uh, mortal creatures. Speaking of life and energy of mortal creatures, uh, it's dinner time. You guys ready to go to the Diablo Cantina? Damn oh, yeah. straight. <laughs> As you walk I'll in, even put on clean clothes. Wow, look at you. Uh, I'll you put on walk- my, yeah, my Sunday finest. <laughs> Your Undertaker coat. Yeah. Uh, you, you guys walk in and you notice that you've beaten the dinner rush. Uh, you also notice there are a pair of no musicians going by the name Dos Amigos. Cisco and Pancho are tuning their instruments as you wander into the dimly lit tavern. Uh, it appears that you are early in a beaten the evening rush. A pair of young waitresses are preparing the establishment seating while a burly man with tattoos along both arms and face uh, is behind the bar. Uh, two of the facial tattoos are demon horns on his forehead, aka the Diablo Tavern. Uh, he greets you warmly and tells you to take any seat that you'd like. Uh, one of the girls will be with you shortly. Hmm. This is not bad. I mean, I'll take you can, an occupied seat. You can sit at the bar, you can sit at a table, or you can sit up close to the uh, gnomes. Uh, I'll listen to this. I'll uh, sit close to the gnomes. I'm interested in listening to this band, see if they suck or not. Uh, they will not suck. Uh, Carrie, what were the songs I was going to sing for them? Fuck. funny. I knew I should have written it down. Now, I'll, think of it. I'll think of it shortly. Uh, you guys sit down. You notice that the stucco walls and rough hewn timbers decorate the interior of the tavern. The painted walls uh, adorn are adorned with uh, a variety of uh, different images, as well as some minor graffiti present. Uh, likewise, for the tables, it appears as though it is customary for patrons to carve their initials into these uh, these pieces of furniture. There are also some derogatory remarks aimed at different people whom you do not know, as well as crude uh, depictions of physicality of certain individuals. Uh, all in all, it's quite homey. Uh, it's a lot like Harry's. Uh, I was going to say, is this a college bar? What the hell? Yeah. Shortly after you guys arrive, you notice the business starts to pick up and the established is clearly a gathering spot for the town. Uh, Many faces that you saw at the torch burning uh, are there, as well as some of the farmers who were tending the field. The mood is somewhat somber and many of the patrons are discussing the day's events. Uh, For the most part, uh, it will be clear that Kara got what she deserved. Kara got what she deserved. I pull, I pull out a claw and start scratching into the table. There you go. Oh. What are you scratching in? Why? My name. Okay. What All else right. matters? Uh, well, apparently from the crude depictions, uh, boobs matter. Oh. Uh, so uh, as you guys sit down, you guys will be allowed to order uh, food. Uh, they have a wide variety. Uh, they The waitress suggests the roasted game hen and points Mm. out that if you order it quickly you'll get the first cut meaning it will probably be the best cut i'll take a game hen then yes please can i get some feathers as well sure you can be an uh, american indian (laughs) while you're at it when what do you want Uh, i'll take the game hen as well nobody wants the fish (laughs) in a landlocked city (laughs) It's mostly fresh. Mm. 
Like, uh, uh, what's your definition of fresh? Three to uh, six days old or several weeks? Last month. Mm. That recently? Sounds delightful. I'll take Co- the game hen. <laughs> Covered in salt. Ah, uh, the game hen ah. and uh, libations arrive. Everybody give me a con check. Let's see how you like it. Yeah. Oh, 14. What am I rolling for? Constitution. Uh, <laughs> oh. Five. Yeah, 12. Yeah, 14. Uh, Kelsier and Flynn, you find it delicious, uh, but Gilly begins to choke. <laughs> and spits feathers out. Hairball. <laughs> You're uh, supposed this... to chew it, Gilly, not to <laughs> shove it down your throat. This is foul. Ha ha ha. <laughs> this causes some consternation oh. among the other uh, patrons. Mm. Look away. Bar. Is Look it away. your fault? That she... Yeah. Oh. Uh, the, uh, what did I call him? We Dos need to find amigos. something for her to kill soon. <laughs> the Dos Amigos begin to play a lively little tune uh, entitled I Fought the Magistrate and the Magistrate Won. <laughs> As you look around, I remember uh, everybody, that one. Everybody give me an investigation check. Oh, you used to sing that on the ship. Uh, investigation. Nice. Um, yeah, be a straight, that'd be a straight roll. 18. Uh, 19. Kelsier, uh, your vision is distracted, and you notice that Paolo has entered the tavern. He is sitting up at the bar, and he has a canine companion with him, a mangy-looking mutt, uh, who sits quietly by his feet. Uh, Flynn, you notice that the Dos Amigos appear to be (laughs) lip-syncing. It's Millie Vanilli. Ooh. Yeah, do they have any cool dance moves? Well, I wouldn't call them cool, but go ahead and roll a d20. Let's see how you like it. Uh, I don't like it. Yeah, they uh, not very good. Something called the sunwalk. You aren't yeah, really sure three. what that's all about. I don't know. They just look, look like they're jumping around. <laughs> yeah, they look stupid. Uh, Gilly, your rolls are starting to improve. You're now in double digits, but you don't notice jack or shit about this. Uh, as uh, you guys ponder the ability of dessert, uh, the waitress begins to list off some things. Uh, various pies, uh, various uh, items called ice cream. However, the door to the tavern bursts open and the man in the uh flower soaked apron enters uh and says hey everybody i've got something great uh everybody give me a perception check oh not 20 great so uh, 23 15 what was yours 10 uh, Gilly, you know These feathers are just kicking my ass. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you don't notice much. Kelsier, you notice he's carrying a tray heaped with something, and Flynn takes a husky, uh, ah, that smells like gingerbread. And as you guys watch, he begins to pass out small gingerbread to people. Uh, Flynn, you notice that there are colored eyes it looks like he's got some type of candy in it uh as he approaches closer because he's going around the room giving everybody free gingerbread uh everybody give me an investigation roll again please this will be my fifth die of the night (laughs) ah motherfucker (sighs) Five. I'm a handy 12. Okay. Maybe you're myopic. Flynn, what do you got? I'm pretty sure I was checking to make sure that my swords are free and their scabbards and everything's all good because I got a three. Wow. Uh, 16. I wasn't okay. investigating much. That's true. Uh, well, Flynn and Gilly, uh, your vision is obscured as the baker approaches. He has 
four gingerbread men left, leans down and offers odd even. Odd, Gilly, you're winning at something. He offers you first pick of the gingerbread. There are four. I have been having a bad night, sir. Would you choose for me? He picks one up and hands it over to you. Thank you. At this time, two things happen. Kelsier, you notice that Paolo is distracted and look to the door. At the door is a beautiful woman with long red hair wearing a red dress. She's a witch! Paolo seems amorously entranced and begins to walk over towards her. The dog is no longer present. Gilly, as you take possession of the fourth gingerbread, the three gingerbread left on the silver platter leap up and pull out toothpicks hidden behind them and attack. We will go initiative as the food is fighting back tonight. <laughs> Did mine attack me? Uh, you've got one in your hand and another one attacking you. And I start the night off with a 19 on initiative. Ha -ha. Same. I get uh, 21. Uh, I get uh, 14. 24. Kelsier, uh, you have first action. Uh, Paulo does not notice the fight is about to start. And you notice that you are going shoe to toe with a ferocious gingerbread person. Uh, I'm just going to stomp on it. <laughs> sure. It doesn't seem necessary for me to pull a sword or anything, so. AC 16 on the animated gingerbread. Really? Wow. <laughs> They're small wow. and fast. Yeah. yeah. Okay, that works. Uh, that's 21 to hit. They're tiny, the, aren't they? You put the boot to it. Yeah. Um, they're, so, they're like a three inch cookie. Uh huh. So it okay. takes uh, five so points of tiny. bludgeoning damage. Nice. If uh, it's, yeah, one plus my four. Yeah, five points you, of bludgeoning damage. You hear a crunch. Uh, Gilly, one hand has a gingerbread, uh, and you're facing off with an animated one. I was like, Zena. So the one in my hand, is it attacking me or is it normal? It is not. It is normal. I say, fuck you, and I bite the head off of his brother. <laughs> <laughs> Give me an intimidation roll. <laughs> wow. I have a quick question. Is there like, are there like mugs on the table and all yeah. still? Okay. Mugs, mugs and plates. Oh, this isn't going to work out well for me. Uh, <laughs> eight. <laughs> uh, unfazed at your cannibalistic <laughs> tendencies, Gilly, you're up first. It's going to attack with the natural one uh, embedding its toothpick into the wooden floor. Hey, it should stab one of its brothers. Yeah, I, I don't take <laughs> critical hits and I don't hit them on the critical fails. Flynn, you're up next. Are you fucking kidding me? Natural one again! <laughs> As the toothpick slams in between your toes and embeds itself. Uh, Kelsier. Oh, it's still alive? Oh, yeah. 18 plus 4, 22. It, uh, That'll hit, yeah. As it's holding back your foot, it sticks the toothpick up in there for... Ah, uh, crap. Uh, one plus four, five damage, Jeez. as it's just like stepping on a D4. Flynn, uh, Gilly's trying to intimidate. is well, trying to give it to the boot. You are up. Well, being a buccaneer, I'm proficient in improvised weapons that one might find on a ship, dock, or tavern. <laughs> I'm going to use a mug as an improvised weapon and Atta, baby. smash it with a tankard. Uh, that's going to be a 19 to hit, and... Yes. Um, six points of bludgeoning damage. Nicely done. Everybody in the tavern starts to scream, but only your three gingerbread are animated. Round two begins with Kelsier thinking, what the fuck is going on? Yeah. <laughs> this one weird I'm, I'm going to grab another mug just in case. Sure. I uh, will, uh... You got three on the table. I guess I will, uh... 
I'm dual wielder. I really don't know if it's necessary to actually have to do something this drastic. I was like, I just look at the little gingerbread thing and I'm like, I uh, I hope milk spills on you and you crumble away and cast uh, vicious, vicious mockery. mockery. <laughs> uh, with a five, you seem to have struck a nerve. <laughs> okay, he takes three points of <laughs> psychic damage and he has disadvantage on the next attack roll it makes nice that is not how the cookie crumbles because it is still alive <laughs> gilly you're up what <laughs> kind of flour do you use <laughs> rusty gingerbread hard yeah. durham <laughs> uh so I spit a mouthful of his brother on him. <laughs> Improvised <laughs> weapon. Try to use uh, dexterity as your modifier as you are a spitter. <laughs> 17, motherfucker. Oh. Uh, you know what? I will give you a choice. I, I will say you can damage him for one or two hit points, or you can try and blind him and make him all disadvantage. I'll take the hit points. <laughs> okay. Uh, odd is one hit point. Even is two. <laughs> even. Two hit points. Uh, unfazed. <laughs> he decides to pull forth his toothpick and try and stab you in the foot again, Gilly. With my third fucking natural one. <laughs> <laughs> Can't attack. I went my tail back and forth. <laughs> but Flynn. Yeah. Well, that's not a one, but it's a seven. <laughs> that's, that's not going to work either. Uh, dis <laughs> disadvantage on Kelsier. An 18 and a 12. Uh, 12 plus 4, 16. Ah, oh, damn. That, yeah, that just hits. It stabs you in the ankle this time. Oh, come hey! on. Or another five hit points. <laughs> what are these things That's made of? That's a sharp toothpick. <laughs> when you're up. Oh. Feels uh, like a tree limb. <laughs> yeah, now that I have two mugs in my hand. Oh, we're uh, third level. We'll be fine. <laughs> I, I'm going I to it. I never said that. <laughs> What are you doing, Flynn? I'm going to smash it twice. Uh, 16 and... Th oh, 16 and 3 is 19. And, uh, and 14 and 3 is 17. Both hit as you crack the mugs into the gingerbread. <laughs> uh, 4... And uh, seven is eleven. A total of eleven points of bludgeoning damage. Down goes Frazier as Cookie crumbles. Round three. That's a tough cookie. <laughs> <laughs> the bar is in turmoil at the beginning of round three as people are scattering, knocking over tables. This emboldens. The remaining two gingerbread who feel they are on the verge of success. Kelsier, you're up. Is the did the lady in red leave? <laughs> or is she still at the door with Paulo? Or is she still at the door? The the crowd has surged towards the door. You cannot okay. see any of them. All right. Well I guess uh I guess we'll uh finish off this cookie. <laughs> oh Jesus. Oh uh, by the way. The Dos Amigos are playing a rather lively tune. <laughs> oh, now you play good music. I see how it is. Um, Obviously, they're a roadhouse band. Yeah. Roadhouse. Kelsier <laughs> will uh, uh, take out his rapier and stab the cookie. And then he'll just, like, after he does it, like, pretty much he's just going to walk by and stab it and then just keep walking out the door, <laughs> like, exiting towards the exit to see where. If you can find ah, the woman in red again. I'm you in Blade's link. Yeah. First, you uh, gotta hit him. Yeah, that's... Oh, my gosh. Oh, that'll do it. 19 again, plus yep. 6. So, 25 will hit. Um, and he does... Uh, 8 points of piercing damage. Uh, Dos Amigos changed their tune to Stab Through the Heart. <laughs> <laughs> 
and you're to blame. I have been known to give love to Kelsey. The gingerbread man snaps in half. Uh, I will keep the uh, piece on my sword as I walk out. Excuse me, pardon me. Man with a... (laughs) Excuse me, I just uh, murdered a gingerbread. Now, Flynn and Kelsey, I need you both to give me investigation checks, please. Uh, 19. It's a straight roll. I forget I don't have uh, any 16 dance. plus 8, 19. Oh, Both of you know, uh, upon destroying your gingerbread, that the candied eyes go into a dull color. Gilly, you're up in round it's three. Dead. Hmm. Quit playing with it. Just kill it. Yeah, it's killed already. We've I'll got things to do. I'll just use my claws and slash at it. Nice. Oh, fuck. <laughs> that would be a one. <laughs> uh, D6, oh. you're one, two. Flynn's three, four. Kelsier is five, six. Uh, that would be a six. Uh, as Kelsier plows forward with his gingerbread on, whoop, you swing and miss and slash him across the face. Uh, Sorry. Give me, give me damage and cut it in half. Uh, let's see, that is... Where did my claws go? Uh, one, eight, four. Slashing. Oh, oh, there we go. You guys know this is an easy encounter, right? One. <laughs> one damage like to Kelsier. Uh, the gingerbread man attempts to, cat. <laughs> <laughs> attempts to bite yeah. you with its candy corn teeth. Uh, 13 plus 4, 17. Gilly? Uh, yeah. Bullseye. Uh, four hit points. Well, that hurts more than I thought it would. <laughs> Surprise. Flynn, uh, you're up. Uh, Kelsier has taken a wound, a grievous wound from Gilly, and is marching it was out. one point! <laughs> swinging his rapier, trying to move the crowd like a cattle prod. I- I'm going to try and smash that last little fucker. Sure. Would that be Gilly or Kelsier? <laughs> uh, no, I mean the, the gingerbread. We'll dead. see. Roll. <laughs> uh, Catch him if you can. <laughs> Well, the first one is a, a 22 to hit, and yeah. it does uh, seven points of bludgeoning damage. Still in. And the second in one is a 16, and it does uh, five points of bludgeoning damage. That is enough to finish off the last gingerbread man. Kelsey, okay. as you Then I'll move- finish off the ale in the tanker. Well, nicely done. Uh, bonus points for that. Uh, Kelsier, as you try and move the crowd, move, move, out of the way, out of the way, uh, company business, uh, you do not <sighs> see the lady in red or Paolo. Yep, see, I knew it. It's happening. Curse on the town. Distraction. That was, I saw a lady in red. The dog disappeared. There's a lady in red. Evil gingerbread men and a baker who can make powerful gingerbread. Everybody roll uh, perception at disadvantage due to the din of I'm the... I'm getting more dice out. Tavern. Uh, yeah, great. <gasps> Before. <laughs> they wasted ah, natural stop. 20. Stop bumping me. And, 15. Um, a 19. Uh, Gilly, when, uh, as Kelsier tries to weave his way through the crowd, you over here in the baker... Gee, I wonder if those candies that I got from the witch had anything to do with this. <laughs> I turn and I give him my best evil cat eye. Intimidation roll. Fourteen. Uh, he steps back. <laughs> that is wise of you. Uh, you guys notice that Kelsier is finally weaving his way through the crowd and reaches the exit door as everybody realizes uh, the new lively tune 
uh, from Dos Amigos uh, means that everything is going to be all right, all right. <laughs> wow. It's a nice 70s uh, pop tune. Uh -huh. uh, so they, they all start to move back to their seats, uh, confident that the danger is over in the U3. Heroes uh, have saved the day. Kelsier, you go out the front door, look to your left, look to your right. Don't see the lady in red, don't see the dog, and don't see Paolo. Oh, well, your uh, constable's probably being murdered as we speak right now. A scream is heard behind the business somewhere in the area of the plaza. Why? Well, right. because there was a, uh, I, I told them, I said, what if she's cursed on everything and see, here it comes. Yeah. It's coming yeah. back. No, I meant, why did we stay? All right, let's go take care of whatever the hell this well, is. Well, we had to go to another town and. I know, it's it's already late. You people kept complaining about, oh, it's, it's so far. No, and it's you late. people. <laughs> well, that's just typical. <laughs> yes. Yes, it All is. Right. Prejudice against the living. I know how it is. Uh, uh, the rising moon cast a pale light over the plaza where the witch was executed and curled so up so in a ball because I'm a near the ashes. I can't help but I was born better than you. <laughs> Are you born a damn fear? Well, actually, I don't really remember. I think I'm more the reincarnation of a vampire tyrant that was in my family. Mm. When your mommy loves a vampire very much. Yes. When mommy loves her daddy and they get together and one wait, happens wait. to be a supernatural entity of the night. Her daddy? Sometimes. You never know. I don't even remember. <laughs> not, a, not a virgin anymore. No. <laughs> no. Brain bleach. Uh, next season on the CW. 300 years, <laughs> 300 years later, I'm born. <laughs> Uh, oh. So near the ashes of the dead witch, <coughs> dead in quotes, uh, is a body curled up in a fetal position. <coughs> While there is light from the moon, you cannot tell the color of the clothing or the design. I walk over to it and stand on top of it and curl up and sit. Why? <laughs> what? I'm going to get out my water skin and like spray her. Like, get off the body. Get off. Rare! What the fuck? Uh, You're sitting on a dead corpse. We don't know Again. that. After the Again. things you've seen, it's you more comfortable than the floor in my room. Oh, uh, that's a good point. Maybe you could drag the body back and <laughs> sleep on it. Uh, Probably more comfortable than that mattress you have too. Uh, uh, good news, bad news. Uh, the body in a fetal position has a look of absolute fright on it. Uh, and several uh, soft spots in its body, a.k.a. bludgeoning damage. Uh, it is the body of the Akalde, Paolo. Oh, he is shit. quite dead. Uh, that's Damn the it, good now I've got to wash my paws. That's the good news. Uh, the bad news is a shriek from a citizen and the term murderers <laughs> is heard uh, as the cat Gilly weeds is perched atop their dead leader. Uh, yes. A crowd gathers. I Thank was you. trying to resuscitate him. <laughs> Thank you, Gilly, for your <laughs> vaunted <laughs> ignorance. <laughs> and once again, driving us out of another town. Oh, it's not You're just jealous bad. of my beauty. No. Everybody roll a straight D20. I'm more annoyed because roll. I've already paid for the room this time. <laughs> We all paid for our own room. I know. That's the annoying part. Fuck. I like you bought an apartment. Two. Yeah. Great 20. Great 20? I've got a 14. 15. Uh, Kelsier, as you turn and try and pacify the crowd, I assume. Yeah. Oh, you, whoa, whoa, whoa. You feel an out-of-body experience grab you uh 13 plus 4 17 yeah that's you are a bad touch 
thrown rudely to the floor with a forceful slam. Oh. Uh, the good news is that's only six hit points of damage. Good gravy. It could have been 18. <laughs> Jesus. Ow. Um... Everybody roll initiative against the poltergeist, a.k.a. the dead witch. Oh, awesome. Ooh, five. Twelve. Eight. Eighteen. Uh, Kelsier, eight or eighteen? Eight. Uh, eighteen. All three of you beat me. Uh, eighteen. Uh, Flynn, you notice that an out-of-body experience has taken over your half-vampire and thrown him rudely to the ground. The dust from this open plaza begins to fester and float around uh, an ethereal spirit. You guys can Great. see it now. Uh, the townsfolk scream out, holy shit, it's a good, good, good ghost, and start to run. It's so, probably the witch you murdered. <laughs> this is um, all your fault. Yeah. Uh, hold, real quick, uh, what's everybody's hit points here before I kill y'all? I Go only got it? 10 left. Okay, Flynn? I have 32. Wow. And I haven't been hit. Kelsier. Seven. <laughs> Fair enough. Okay, Flynn, you're up. Holy shit. Uh, Kelsier just got body slammed. Um, and and I can see this swirling dust kind of yeah, yeah. Looks like some creature from a Bugs Bunny. <laughs> Groovy. I fill my hands with swords and go at it. Yes. Newport News. Walla Walla Washington. Washington. Okay. And now we've lost the younger generation. Oh, okay. I don't know what they're talking about. Bye. <laughs> Waste. Go watch uh, some classics. I, I have a, a 20 and a 16. 12 is what you need to hit the poltergeist. Oh, well, I hit it good then. Um, I learned the, all my opera skills. The first, one is, the first one is 10 points of slashing damage, which is going to do not much to a poltergeist. And the next one is uh, <clears throat> 6 points of slashing damage. Fair enough. Uh, next up is the 12. Gilly, holy shit, it's a good, good ghost. Uh, and you were sitting on it. <laughs> no, I was sitting on the body. A buck in your nose, no fear. That's right. Um, I don't have anything that's going to do anything. Just like claws it is. Hooray, Frost. Yeah, you can hit it with a ray of frost. All right, we'll try that. Don't roll a one. Seven, no, 19. 19 hits. Yeah. D8, I believe. D8 uh, plus one. One D8. Uh, I shoot the text. Nine. Ooh, nicely done. Uh, finally, the eighth, Kelsier. Uh, you shake the dust off your head and think, what the fuck just hit me? As you turn uh, around, you see the horrifying visage of a poltergeist. I will, uh... They're here. <laughs> fuck. I will, uh, cast Cure Wounds on myself, because that hurt. Um, first, I will use that as my action. Okay. Yeah. I will then piss myself. <laughs> yes. I will then urinate. Um, so I got eight points of healing back. That helps. And then I will use my bonus action to uh, look at uh, look at Flynn and go, uh, you got this, buddy. I'm going to bleed out in the corner for just a minute. Uh, right. Fuck. Give me a minute. I'll be back. Uh, yeah, so you get uh, D6 inspiration die. Ooh. That's good. Except there's a slight difference, I believe. Um... Uh, 
Uh, no, that's it. Well, that's it. I'll, I'll, I'm looking up the difference, but yeah. D6 to inspiration. Awesome. Next wow. target is four. Flynn, uh, the vapor seems to focus in on you. Mm -hmm. uh, 18 plus four, 22. 18 hits me. <laughs> Here comes the pain, boys and girls. That I'm uh, ready for. Three, two, one. Six hit points of damage. Forceful slam. Rightio. Uh, end of the round. Uh, you can hear the scared townspeople screaming for the second time in ten minutes. <laughs> <laughs> this town is a shithole. Yes. Thanks it's for being here. Uh, top of the order, Flynn. Thanks for the memories. Swashy do bomb bomb. Uh, that's going to be 18 and oh, that was a natural 20. Nice. Okay, so let's resolve that 18 first. That's going to be eight <laughs> points of slashing damage, and then the natural 20, six, five is 11, plus three is 14 points of slashing damage. Nice, and then I'm going to action surge and do okay. it again. Go ahead. Uh, that's an 18 and a 7. Uh, the first one hits. Yeah. Uh, nine points. Slash. Slashing. Yep. <laughs> that thing is not looking pretty. Uh, Kelsey, or Kelsey's eight. Uh, yeah, Gilly, nice. you're up. I guess we'll go with the Ray of Frost again. Sure. One, one, one. Oh, nine. Nine is not good enough. Pew, pew. Uh, Kelsier, did you withdraw or are you still in the area? Uh, I'm still in the area. Uh, yeah. I will look at the creature and I will uh, give it a good stare at it and go, you know what? People can see right through you and uh, cast Tasha's hideous laughter. Uh... I think that's going to have a uh, It may not. Uh, with a 19, it really doesn't matter. <laughs> so, uh, well, that's funny. <laughs> it is. Uh, end of the round. Who am I going after? That is two. I'm going after the gillyweeds. Nothing's burning. Nothing. We hope. <laughs> uh, six plus four is ten. No. Swing and a miss. Nice. We'll make sure that Flynn doesn't have to call the fire department. Doesn't sound like it. Uh, <clears throat> what was that now? <laughs> I mean, it doesn't sound like I need to call the fire department. Round, uh, new round, you're up. Oh, new round, I'm up gonna do the swangy swangy thingy because it's what i got uh those are both gonna hit uh it's a 20 and a 21 uh and we're gonna do <clears throat> 10 and 5 is 15 points of slashing damage total very nice gilly kelsier and flynn you all notice that the vapor surrounding you guys falls flat to the Dirt Plaza. I uh, hate give me an, ghosts. Give me an insight check, Gilly. Give me an insight check, Kelsier. Uh, 17. Uh, 13. Uh, Gilly, you're convinced that this problem has resolved itself and stand there. Kelsier, you're on the fence. Maybe this time don't sit on it, Gilly. Hmm? What the fuck? Maybe not sit on the freshly dead body. <laughs> it was soft. Uh, are you going to try and attack Kelsier or stand down? Who, me? Kelsier. Uh, no, I'm, I think I'm, if it's, if, uh, if it's not coming after me and it kind of disappeared, I'm going to live with that fact that it's not here. 
It appears as though the poltergeist has dissipated as no further attacks occur. Some of the townspeople who were actively watching the incident uh, begin to filter in to the uh, plaza and approach uh, for when uh, stating, hey, sorry about that whole murderer thing. <laughs> I never I unlawfully you. killed I, anyone. I baked you this pie. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I wouldn't take the pie. <laughs> Gilly, have... Gilly sprays one of the citizens. <laughs> As, uh, especially after the uh, living uh, gingerbread people that tried to kill us. You want to take a bite out of the pie, Flynn? <laughs> no. Hungry fella. <laughs> Well, I'm just going to hang on to this for later. Fair enough. Uh, through the crowd comes Mendoza uh, asking what the hell's going on. Uh, some of the citizens go ahead and fill him in on how they accidentally mistook you guys for murderers and that Paulo is dead. Uh, does anyone <clears throat> want to say anything in your defense? Well, uh, it seems like the uh, curse that the witch has placed upon the town moments ago when you uh, <clears throat> hours ago when you killed her is now coming to fruition as Paolo your constable is the first to die did he have any relations with the witch? <clears throat> uh, no as a matter of fact he was mourning the death of his wife from several weeks ago mm. a beautiful woman with long red hair Hmm. Interesting. Red hair. Hmm. Well, no, we're not murderers, because uh, no right. one's paying us to be. That's right. So. Well, then it's not murder. It's lawful contract. Yes. Uh, so, do you all usually just point blame and just go to uh, go to town, as it were? Uh, Apollo was our voice of reason as he has spent many years out on the frontier roads such as yourself. Uh, he was a powerful man, a great fighter, and his loss will be truly mourned by us. Of all the people present, uh, Mendoza seems to be uh, the voice of reason. The others, of course, are scared little bunny rabbits wondering if indeed Kelsier is correct and the curse and plague is upon the town where others will die. Maybe you shouldn't be going around burning people at the stake. Of course it is. I mean, let's look at the facts. Yes, you do. One, living gingerbread creatures that popped out or tried to kill you. Two, your uh, constable guy dies moments uh, into it. I mean, seems like a witch's curse to me. Seems like you all need to repent and give back all the items and maybe uh, ask for forgiveness. And... and Actually, I was going to have you roll for that. Uh, they immediately take your advice and start throwing all of her shit down on the plaza uh, towards the ashes. Wow, that seems like a very poor <laughs> choice of things to do right now. Maybe you should do it with some sort of reverence. Maybe oh, it's too late. That. They already threw their shit at it. You know, uh, these people are not very bright. and so I'm not very bright. They have no people, library here. What do you expect? I have another question. Um, Paolo's wife died not that long ago, you say? Yeah. The red-haired woman. Red hair. Yeah. And she liked to wear red dresses as well? Beautiful in her red dress. Red was a good color on her. Did I tell you boys about that? Yeah. Well, surely somebody seen... in the bar would have seen her. Did anyone see Paolo's dog? Dog? Yeah, Shaggy Mutt. We have no mm. dogs in this community. Mm. Well, one might whether say, or not you have them, there was one. One might say a mystery is afoot, or the fact that you're all mildly horrible people and you <laughs> killed Do they someone. Know what a dog is? Um, you know, yeah, they know. I I concur in coming from us. That's saying a lot. You know what I'm gonna do. I'm, I'm going to leave go. this town. Fuck you guys. <laughs> I'm going to go to bed. And when I wake up in the morning, whoever's alive uh, and hasn't been murdered by the ghost. Cook us breakfast. 
Maybe tell us how things go. Uh, good luck. <laughs> yep. Uh, I think we took care of the gingerbread men, and we've yeah. taken care of the poltergeist. We're yeah. going to bed. Which yeah. I'm guessing that was probably the ghost of Paolo angry at you all for just letting him die so easily. <laughs> yes. uh, he Sorry, Paolo. But anyway. <laughs> the the townspeople are horrified at your blunt attitude, but you can tell that your speech has affected them greatly. Uh, they look at each other wondering who will be the next to die as you guys walk past them. Uh, well, actually, I do have, I have one more question before I take a nappy poo. Um, <laughs> who was the first person to place blame on the witch? Mara, the child. Mara, the child. All right. Yeah. Um, ah, you're not going to make it to sunrise. <laughs> Just saying. Child. Might as well get rid of that B card. <laughs> <laughs> actually, that would probably kill you faster. If you do that. Um, he looks at, he walks up and he goes, uh, child, um, what, what happened with the witch? Can you tell me? She attempted to drag me off into the woods. Did she now? Um, do you remember, did she tell you why or did she say anything? Uh, she said to follow her. <laughs> So the witch attempted to drag you off into the woods, to follow her, and you didn't. And she said for you to follow, but uh, did she drag you or did she ask you to follow her? A small boy, a little bit older than Mara, steps up and goes, she tried to drag my sister into the woods. Uh, I will um, look at the boy and... Uh, Tell him, child, if you don't sit down and shut your face, <laughs> I will break your nose. Give me a charisma check to see, or intimidation check to see if you scare this kid into pissing himself. Okay. Uh, that's probably going to happen. That's a 16 plus 5, 21. A wet spot uh, prominently begins to enlarge itself right around the groin area of the young boy as he shirks back against his mother. His mother gives you a curt glance uh, but says nothing. So what does a hypnotic so, gaze do? Young lady, if I may ask again, did she ask you or did she pull you into the woods? She pulled me. Uh, yes. Are you going to cast hypnotic gaze on these people? What does it do? Uh, it essentially hypnotizes them. So would they tell me the truth? Uh, that would not have any effect. Okay, um, then no. Kelsey is going to look at the girl, and he's going to, while he's sitting there, he's going to... Uh, he's going to take a copper piece into his hand and kind of start flipping the coin, or <clears throat> flipping the coin in his finger, and uh -huh. he's going to um, hum a little tune casting detect thoughts so he can hear this girl's thoughts he goes young lady and he says it quietly are you having troubles in your home life or does she get a, does she get a save um for the duration of your thoughts certain creatures cast spells you're actually in the with any one creature that you can see within 30 feet of you which is the girl uh da, 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 da. I can initially oh. surface thoughts of the creature, so there's no. Um, if I want to probe deeper past the surface thoughts, Steve, she has to make a wisdom saving throw. So I, I can hear surface thoughts, but if I think something might be a bit more pertinent, I'll dive deeper. Uh, the surface thoughts uh, lead you to believe that she's telling the truth. Okay. And as, as she's talking, she keeps rubbing her right wrist. What happened to your wrist, young lady? That's where she grabbed me. Um, can I see? Is there a bruising there? There is no bruising. Is there any is... other evidence of her being a witch? Well, uh, than... uh, Mendoza will point out that she did cause quite a bit of problems in town. Kind of mouthy, kind of rude. Kind of Kelsier. <laughs> that doesn't make one a witch. 
<laughs> so she was outspoken. That can just make yes. someone an asshole, not a witch. That's true. Uh, but yes, the uh, straw that broke the camel's back was the attempted abduction of child. Uh, child, when she tried to abduct you, or when she told you to follow her into the woods, where were you to be going? Can you point us in that direction? Yeah, which out way? To, points out to the field. Can you, if several of you want to come with us, can you show us nope. that area? <laughs> uh, it's dark. It's a full moon. Uh, these people are morons. They are not going out on a witch hunt with you in the dark, oh, no. in the woods. You uh, just need to show me the direct. You just need to show me, make sure I'm going in the right direction. <laughs> I will not ask you to go any farther than that. In the morning. No. Mendoza, Mendoza points out that that small copse of trees over there, about an eighth of a mile away, uh, is where her and the old crone's hut is. Okay, let's go but check that's out the not old crone's. Necessarily where she was dragging her to. Uh, no, they will confirm that the direction is somewhere. Okay. okay. So are we let's going go. now or are we resting? Well, now we've got a mystery because I think these townsfolk are true salt of the earth. So <laughs> let's maybe go check the uh, witch's hut. The I don't know. Which is hot real fast, and then salt of the earth means dumb. Mm. Salt of the earth means salt of the earth. These people are real home life people who just thrive in their community. And don't understand only. anything that goes on around them. Let's just go check this out real fast. Okay. Land lovers are strange. Republicans. <laughs> Uh, that's fine. You, you guys go off into the woods. Uh, the Sounds lights. like a QAnon meeting. <laughs> <laughs> now we're on a watch list. Uh, yeah, don't watch those. What do you fuckers. mean now? <laughs> <laughs> didn't, didn't you get CC'd from the yeah. service? <laughs> uh, you guys head off. Uh, you have to go down a slight hill uh, across the fields. Uh, everybody give me perception. Oh, fuck. Over the river and through the woods to grandmother's house we go. Uh, 20. Yeah. Also 20. Five. I'm lucky if I, I can I gotta roll remember where we're going I... again. <laughs> uh, Kelsey, you're keeping an eye on the cops of trees. Flynn and Gilly are doing their best to avoid the shitty crops that are here, and they notice uh, wolf or dog prints. Oh, cool. Well, there might be the dog. Um, the smells well, of canine. It one stinks. looks like it's going to town. One looks like it's coming back. I wonder if the uh, wolf or dog, whatever it is, if I wonder if that's actually uh, his wife, and that's why she like hey, something not to do that with. Ugly. Well, like her, the time she died, like when she died, if she died, and things like that, and that's why he suddenly has the dog. She's a werewife. <laughs> Aren't they all? The moon is full. Not you, dear. You're awesome. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> you make out the faint outline of a shitty crude hut inside the cops of trees. Uh, the tree uh, line is sparse. We'll call it, I don't know, fall. And they've already harvested most of the crops. Uh, but you do see a shitty one level kind of elongated it looks like it was an old bus wow wow that's not very big country living uh well let's check it out let's uh, at least knock on the door see if anyone's actually home because the witch may have not actually died or maybe your sister's right. here uh, <laughs> you knock there is no answer but give me perception checks Uh, 20, 17, and 3. Uh, 6. <laughs> this is supposed to be your area of expertise, man. Did, did Gilly give you her dice? Investigating know, is right? my area. Plus Perception? Three, oh, ten. yeah, okay. Yeah. Uh, Flynn, you notice a flickering light underneath the crack in the door at the bottom, indicating maybe a flickering fire, torch, something. <laughs> I hey scratched guys. at the door and meow. Well, if there's somebody in there that likes cats, maybe they're missing their familiar. Yes, maybe they're missing their five foot six familiar <laughs> cat that's bipedal. That makes sense. 
yeah, yeah. I'm now holding two daggers. Uh, hello. Uh, we are seeking entrance for answers. No. No answer. Is it all right if we come in? We. I'll, I'll assume silence says yes. <laughs> we brought we brought a pie. <laughs> There's exigent circumstances. We have a pie. Yes. I do the cat thing and butt my head against the door. And we're not fond of the townspeople. To see if it's open. <laughs> oh, throwing in that card. Nice. Yeah. Uh, still no answer. All right. Uh, I does guess it we'll... doesn't open when she butts her head against it? Uh, it kind of slightly opens. This place oh. is a oh. shackle piece of crap. I'll just open the door then. Uh, you open it up and uh, it's your typical witch's hut. Uh, there's dead shit hanging from the ceiling. There's a cauldron boiling in the center of the area. I think you have a prejudice against witches. Not the witches of Eastwick. That's kind of hot. Uh, so, uh, the fire is starting to lessen in intensity. Uh, so you surmise that it has been lit for quite some time. Uh, it, the pot is not even boiling at this point in time. Uh, but there is a small fire under there giving some illumination. Uh, you have, uh, she appears to be a squirrel taxidermist of some kind, hmm. uh, but she has fashioned them into fighting buzzes. Uh, <laughs> um, nice. You also you notice a go basket ahead and of check berries. that out. So you notice the cauldron, the fighting squirrels, go squirrels. Uh, Bradford, right? Yeah, I think that's yeah, Bradford. I think so. Basket of berries, uh, and then a variety of dead things, feathers, stuff like that. Ball of twine. Hmm. And she appears to sleep in a hammock. Oh. Oh wow! True. Country, well, that man. should uh, well, make Flynn happy. That's true. Maybe we so, should just sleep here. Cauldron, berries, fighting squirrels, hammock. I think we should just sleep here for tonight. I'll check out the berries. I go over to the fireplace and curl up. Cool. Uh, investigation on the berries. Flynn, what are you doing? Uh, Have you seen the well, Hunger Games? <clears throat> I'm going to open my lantern up and give us more light. Okay. Um, uh, yeah, there's, so, there's a bit of a smell to this place. Uh, yeah. 16 on the berries. I'm, I'm going to look around to see if there's any salt. In a witch's thing? Nice. Yeah. Which is you, Salt? Nice. Uh, D12 against me for the Salt. Uh, that's a six. That's an eight. No Salt. Uh, Kelsier. Yeah, these berries look really familiar. Hmm. There's, uh, something familiar about the berries. I wonder if it's... Flynn, could you show me your pie? <laughs> <laughs> the pie that that weird guy gave you for stopping oh, yeah. stuff. Um, well, it's kind of a little crumpled now, but that's fine. <laughs> does the uh, does the like the inside of the pie? Like, I'll kind of take my dagger and just open it up a little, see if it matches the berries. It does not. Huh. What about the gingerbread that's still on my <laughs> sword? <laughs> it does look like the gingerbread eyes. Mm, Interesting. Oh. So she must have made candy out of these berries. Berries. Intriguing. I'm going to go check the pot. Uh, the pot has some kind of stew in it. Give me a con check. Uh, Nineteen. Smells good. Smells like mm. soup. Some kind of uh, culinary delight. It's probably squirrel. Boss Fighting man. squirrels. It's. I mean, you eat what you can. It's not so like it's, there's a hearty uh, there. I, I just. I don't see. Like. This isn't the some richest, altar though. of sacrifice or some evil. This, this more or less. Just, uh, Maybe a hedge witch or a, one of them druid things or something, but not. Yeah, it's not a not like a hag. No, this is uh this more or less seems like a bunch of hillbilly racist town folk killed a person and 
she genuinely had the power to at least curse them and has in some way, shape, or form. I like the cut of your jib. Yeah, it, I, I don't. I mean, everybody roll perception. This doesn't seem like a bad person's place. Uh, 19? 15. Oh, 20, sorry. Nine. Uh, Gilly, you do not hear it. Flynn, you hear it. And Kelsier, you hear it as well. Uh, Adventures, it's me, Mendoza. Oh, for fuck's sake. Yes, Mendoza, what are you here to do? Are you here to turn into a poltergeist and kill us or to freak out about something that's bound to have killed someone in town? It's me, Mendoza. There's something out here. Is it you, Mendoza? Yes, I, I am Mendoza. There's something out here. What's, What's out, there? out there? I'm not sure. Well, describe go it. <laughs> Mendoza, describe it with words. Is there any wood around so I can build the fire back up? Yes, there is. Uh, okay. No word from Mendoza. Well, I don't think that's him. Mendoza. I don't think that's Mendoza. I will. Uh, is there a window is... in this place? Nope. I will go to the door and I will peek out the door. Do I see Mendoza? You do not. You don't see anybody. There's no Mendoza. Uh, but you do hear a growl. Mm. Look, I smell canine. Shut the door. Look, whatever's this out is there. This disgusting. I'm we're not here back to, at it. We're not here to fight you or to cause all these issues. <laughs> If you want to fuck these townspeople's world, really, it's not its not killing us. I mean, it's disappointing. Yes, I hate that. But they seem to have kind of... They've run it on themselves. <laughs> yeah, they did cause yep, it on their they, own. They, they really deserve it. When uh, builds up the fire and it starts to get nice and toasty in here. Uh, purr, 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 however, purr. Uh, you notice uh, the smoke rising up towards the ceiling is not getting out oh and, uh, god it's getting kind of smoky in here uh, and it's really getting warm she doesn't have a flu I, well, uh, there is... was a hole in the ceiling but it's not there now great uh, uh, I think we're being flushed out I guess I open the door and walk out alright let's fucking do this <laughs> Let's see if it's raining. Uh, yeah, that'd be good. Nope. Right. Uh, little light clouds. So the what? It's not there. raining. Nope, not raining. First time in Phil Bar ever. Uh, there again. This is the middle of a small copse of trees. So there's you know slender saplings, maybe eight, ten years old. Uh, shadows are being cast, and it looks a little bit weird out here. Uh, and all of you, you getting the uh, hair on the back of your neck starting to stand up, thinking yeah. something's wrong here. I'm going to hang my lantern up on the door of the cottage so that it casts some light and step forward with changing up my weapons, I think, to swords rather than daggers at this point. I put all my check. fur out. <laughs> Perception check, everybody. I thought you were going to stay by the fire. It's too smoky. Uh, 15. Oh, that's better. Uh, uh, 16. 20. All three of you notice a trio of lights moving out of the copse of trees further away from town. Press away from us? Oh. Almost like little lanterns. Well, they're oh. moving away from us. Let's follow the uh, eerie light structure and hopefully it doesn't <laughs> kill us. As you guys begin to move through, uh, uh, Flynn has armed himself. Uh, each of you come to a ravine. I will need dex checks or you be sliding into the ravine. Oh. Uh, 15. Fail. Uh, 14. Safe. Uh, 23. Safe. Very safe. Uh, all three of you come to this edge of the ravine as the lights continue to stay on the same uh plane horizon uh and it appears as though they were leading you out mm. uh let's see who am i gonna go after first i wonder who else they killed in this town 
Because this seems like they've just killed random people, probably, in the event that they think they've done something. Flynn, uh, a very derogatory statement about the size of your daggers is issued to you. I'm going to need you to make a save versus wisdom. All right, I'm just mockery. Going to use my inspiration. Sure. Ah, yes. Okay, so that's a 14 plus 6 is 20. Uh, the string of insults has no effect on you, and all three of you whirl around to see what appears to be the dead witch. Everybody give me insight. Oh, shit. Here we go. Uh, 20. No, 19. Uh, all three of you recognize subtle differences. This is not the dead witch. Probably a sibling. Oh. Hey, is your sister the one that you killed? Everybody roll initiative. Oh, come on. What? Just go fuck the town up and leave us alone. I don't want to fight you. I just want to... 20. <laughs> well, I got then five. I'll go second. I get... Uh... I get to well, I get twenty one. I don't get that twenty of it. I got nineteen plus two. Sixteen. Sixteen. Oh shit! Uh, what am I gonna do? Uh, I'll do that. Uh, I target four. When a hole begins to open up right in front of you, and it continues to grow, give me a d twenty roll, please. Sure. Uh, we could 13. Be back at the uh, end, sleeping. Uh, no, we had to come out here. Let's do uh, this 13. real quick. You, you notice that uh, you can see leaves at the bottom of this hole, and that causes you to ponder whether or not it is real or not. Uh, 21, Flynn, you are up. This individual is on the other side of the hole, so you. May have to make a leap, or you can just charge across. How far is it? A herd of you? No, across the hole. Uh, eight feet. No, I'm. I'm just gonna disbelieve and walk across. Okay, walk on water, Jesus. Uh, yep. It is fifteen feet to this lady. Uh, your first step there, Doctor Jones, is a solid one. The uh, it is a faux hole. <laughs> mm. So, Only the penitent man will pass. That's right. Yeah. Uh, uh, so you can close sure. the distance if you hop. Oh, yeah. I'll close the distance and attack. I'm not, I'm not fucking around. I'm a murder hobo. <clears throat> uh, a 19 and a 16. 19 hits, 16 does not. AC 17 on this lady. Righty. Uh, 13. No, no. That's plus three. Uh, six points of slashing damage. Brain's not doing it. This is three. Nicely done. Good enough. Sir, you're up. Oh, look, lady. This is honestly really annoying. She's quick, man. Why won't... Why can't you people just relax a little bit? Oh, have some fun. you people! Yes, <laughs> You people, and I'll cast uh, Tasha's hideous laughter on her. Fair enough. Okay, the people in this dinky rink town. Uh, 19 on the die. Jeez. God You're making damn. me waste my slots, ma'am. She looks at you and goes, <laughs> Loose slots. Honestly, this is why people don't like <laughs> your people. <laughs> Gilly, Romanians. <laughs> What do you say when we're done with the witch? We burn the whole damn town down. Billy, you're up. Mm. You how, can smell if I survive. Goulash. How far yeah. away is she from me? 15 feet. So I use my feline agility to race up to her and say, I throw myself down at her feet, roll over, show her my belly, and say, Can I be your familiar? <laughs> I will take the opportunity of attack. <laughs> Uh, 11 plus 6, 17. I'm going to go with no. Uh, yeah. 
uh, Nishi Nash style claws extend out of her fingers and she claws you. And this is going to hurt a lot. 2d8 plus 4. Mm. 8 and 3 plus 4. 12 hit points of damage. Well, that kills me because I only had 10. <laughs> Oh, you guys would have all had a short rest with your dinking around. Okay, so I had 14. So you're down to two. Mm-hmm. Fair enough. Uh, new round. Uh, Gilly, you are on the ground, so you're probably going to fucking die. That's right fine. Here. I'll just nap while I'm here. She gets two attacks. First one's a five. Five again. Uh, Kelsier, uh, she's going to... <laughs> try and fill it you uh first attack i'm good thank you 17 yeah uh and an eight no uh, uh i will actually use my reaction to try uh uncanny dodge it uh no where's uh no i can't do that no sorry not the right level yet for that no oh. Two plus three plus four. Uh, seven, nine damage. Madam, you are horrible. <laughs> She's a horrible person. Uh, Flynn, uh, things look grim. <laughs> they sure do. But that's what swords are for. <clears throat> yes, that's more like it. Uh, that one is going to be an 18, and that one is going to be a 23 because it's a natural 20. So that 18 is uh, 9 points of slashing damage on the 18, and the natural 20 will be uh, 13 plus 3, 16 points of damage on the 20. I'm going to have to do some math here. Fair enough. Uh, 16. Kelsier. Uh, the hit struck true on the lady. Mm. Not very ghosty. I'll go up and uh, give her the old rapier. Is that what you call it? That's what the kids are calling it these days. Uh, rapier so than thou. Rapier her. 21 to hit, yeah. 21 hits. Oops, that's cocked. Uh, 11 <laughs> points of piercing damage. You feel good about yourself rapying her? <laughs> 100%. Uh, and... Oh, look, you gave her a new hole. Yeah. <laughs> it's a new piercing. <laughs> and uh, will... Did you get anything else? No. Uh... No, that's it. <clears throat> uh, Gilly, you're up. You're your feet. Oh, wow. <laughs> you have now been neutered. I can't really get do out of the way, cat. Two points, hit points. You can run away. <laughs> can I? Using your cat-like reflexes, All I right. should be able to. I should be distracting her enough. All right, I try to run away. Uh, D twelve against me. Kelsier just poked a hole in her. And... I say you traitor. Uh, five. Or uh, she swings her claws and misses, bringing us to the new round. Uh, Flynn, Kelsier, as you watch Gilly turn tail, literally, and run, you look back and she does this. And she disappears. Bitch. Everybody, perception check. I hope she kills everyone in that town. <laughs> 18. 17. 15. All three of you hear footsteps headed towards the village. Bye, lady. Have fun. <laughs> Have fun uh, killing the villagers. <laughs> footsteps, can we see her or is she invisible? Uh. Bummer. Do we care at this point? Oh, I mean, not really, but I kind of want to kill her now. <laughs> uh, 
know, I get that. I mean, no autopsy, no foul. <clears throat> well, she has, probably has justification for her anger. Yeah, it's true. She merely mistook us for townsfolk, which we summarily proved we were not by kicking the crap out of her for a few minutes. And um, she didn't do forty-two hit points of damage to her. I'm just going to take a wild shot in the dark. I'm going to run forward 30 feet and throw my dagger in the direction I hear the footsteps. Maybe sure. I'll get lucky and hit her. Sure. The worst then I'm... she might come back. Well, if she does, then we I'll can hit her somewhere. Her, and then we can hit her again. Oh, it is a bad day for her. Uh, that's a 18 is the lowest. Uh, 17 is what you need to hit her. Okay, so she takes... Uh, D4. There we go. He takes full damage. Eight points of piercing damage as the dagger flings. Shot in the dark! <laughs> Nicely done. Uh, Kelsier's actions have consequences. Uh, she reappears with a dagger lodged into her shoulder, turns around, utters arcane language and flings a fireball directly at you guys. Uh, well, however, this is just great. Now I won't have any fur either. <laughs> Dodge like a mother hunker. <laughs> well, then, yeah. the, the ball of fire strikes one of the saplings here and sends cinders everywhere. The entire forest oh, is going up in flames, oh, creating... Good. A wall of flame between you and her. You can see her dragging herself back towards the town, but there is just a wall of fire as the forest is uh, emolliating itself or whatever. Oh. Let's see, what is the space? What on do you that? say? Can I cast Ray of am Frost I at, on it? Sure. Am I at least within 60 feet of her? Uh, you are at like 61 feet. Ah, oh, bummer. I was going to scream out your mother's a, weapon. I was going to scream out your mother's a snowblower. <laughs> uh, with a 17, it probably wouldn't have had any effect. It's worth it. Really want to kill her? Gilly <laughs> casts Ray of Frost. The frost shoots forth from her fingertips and goes right through the flames as the flames continue to lick the trees. Not really. I mean, now I'm just annoyed. It's, it's just disappointing. I was hoping maybe. I don't think we're going to be staying in the little cabin because the forest is burning down. We should get the fuck out of here. Yeah. Everybody perception check. I guess so. What's the matter for you? Seven. Fifteen. Nine, Nineteen. Uh, Flynn. My passive's twelve. When you look to the left, you look to the right, you're going to have to make at least a 60-foot dash around to get away from these flaming trees. Gilly and Kelsier. Hmm. No, no heat coming off these trees. Hmm. I think it's fake. Again. She's using... Uh, like the pit. Illusions. Yeah. Yeah. Like the pit. Like the pit. <laughs> the claw on my gut is not an illusion. I'm just saying. Well, Fuck. that's so real. Kill let's, her or not? Well, let's go run after her and see if we can knock her down and finish her okay. off. Okay. It's the principle of the matter. She has attacked us. If she would have just went straight for the townspeople, no problem. But she's like the poltergeist on us. Yeah. Evil gingerbread men, she clawed us. Yeah, but evil gingerbread men, that's right. Mm. In the well, moonlight, that was before she knew us. Precedent of it. In, yeah. in the moonlight, you can see she has crested the ridge and she is now in the plaza area. It's going to take you guys a round or two to hump your ass to get to her. Let's go. <laughs> All right. I say we just get up on the hill and watch. Halfway up the hill, you hear a child scream. Uh, the voice is Bail. I bet it's the older brother. You know he's an asshole. No. Is it? Was that the kid I uh, intimidated? <laughs> yes. Oh, I shout out. You pissed yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone laughs at you. Uh, as you guys 
meander up the hill at this point in time. Right? <laughs> yeah, Across the hill and the uh, lifeblood of the small child, the brother, is just pouring forth from a claw wound across the neck. He Mr. deserved it. Mr. P-Pants <laughs> is not going to see Rookie Bobby anytime uh, soon. Uh, the lady is no... We'll never have around. a chance to learn the error. Of <clears throat> Everybody give me investigation. Here we go again. Oh, damn it. Come on. Why does that... Ooh. I got a natural 20. 22. 19. That means I've got 20. All three of you see a blood trail uh, from the lifeless body uh, headed to that narrow gap that you guys initially uh, arrived at in tanks. It appears oh, yeah. as though the injuries sustained from Flynn and Kelsier, along with the kind words from Gilly, have left a, an impressionable trail. Uh, you can <laughs> see where she is headed. Well, let's just keep going. I've She's always bleeding. wanted to be someone's familiar. I don't think it's going to be this hmm. lady. Uh, as you burst out of the uh, I'm not so gap, sure she's a lady. Uh, everybody give me an investigation. Ah, oh, shit. Well, that ended nope. up on the floor. Nope. nope. That's the other end of the spectrum. That gives me a uh, one. Investigation. 17. 20, not natural. Uh, Gilly, Kelsier, you look to the left. There is Mendoza holding up a chair, trying to fend off the claw attacks as the two waitress girls hover behind him. Ah, ah! Flynn, you notice some unusual graffiti on the right that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the Gary Larson cartoon. Uh, <laughs> All right. Bonus right. chicken ranch. So, yeah. Gilly, Kelsier, <laughs> Initiative, Flynn. It takes a minute, but it's really funny. Initi oh, what? Initiative at disadvantage. <laughs> nice. uh, okay, at disadvantage, I have a 19. 18. 8. 21, if it had not been at disadvantage. 16 for me. Uh, 19, Flynn, you guys, hey, you guys, you ought to see this. Uh, and then you notice Mendoza fending off the witch. Oh, yeah, that bitch. What'd you do um, to her? I mean, it's going to be pretty quick. <laughs> right. Yeah, um, how far away? Gingerbread, man. How far yeah. away is she again? 15 feet. I, uh, uh, what'd you I'll do I'll close to her? the difference and attack this? her from behind. Go ahead. <laughs> I have no qualms about attacking her from behind. She's a vicious bitch. Boop. <laughs> Slashy slash boo boo. Uh, oh, that one's she's not going to hit. Okay, a witch sickle. <laughs> the second the second attack is going real wide, but the first attack is a nineteen, and 19. it's going to do ten points of slashing damage. That's not bad. Wakey wakey. Uh, next up, uh, eighteen, Kelsier. All right, I'm going to uh, run up to her, and uh, I'm going to cast Hold Person. Nice. Yes. Uh, so, DC 14, Wisdom Saving Throw. Uh, not a good roll at all. Seven plus two is nine. So she... <laughs> she's stuck in place, and she is unmoving. If she reaches out, Gilly, mm -hmm. you are up next. I get to re-roll at the end of my turn, right? Yes, at the end of your turn, yeah. You get to re-roll. Or if you take damage? Uh, let me double check. Yep, I think so. Gilly, what do you want to do? Uh, this sister witch is, seems to be in check. Um, well, I guess I will use my dagger. There you go. <laughs> you can attack at advantage because she is unmoving. Yes, she is considered paralyzed. Ooh, awesome. 18. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> and... Oh, no. Yeah, it says she only gets two. to save at the end of each of her turns. Awesome. Okay, so attacks do nothing. Uh, yeah, she's paralyzed for the duration. So gotcha. six. 
Oh, very nice. You guys are whittling her down. Here comes her roll. Nat 20, boys and girls. <laughs> She's uh, loose. I'm not dagger, in range, so I'm okay. <laughs> as the dagger strikes, uh, she regains her attentiveness. Uh, new round, Flynn, you are up. You know, I have this game I play. It's called Slashy Slashy. Uh, she's now facing you. That's all right. Stabby, stabby. I don't mind that either. Uh, that's going to be, uh, that one's a 17, and that, that one's that one's only a 15. So, uh, yeah, and it does eight slashing. Damn, this bitch is quick. Uh, Kelsier. Okay, I'm going to... Uh, and she is not undead, right? Don't give a damn about my bad reputation. Uh, okay. So I'm going to use my... Um, I'm going to use my vampiric bite on her. Nice. Give her a hickey. Yep. Uh, since I am just, I am under my half my hit points. I get advantage on the attack. Ooh, awesome! And it does uh, a D4 plus Constitution mod for damage. Mm. Oh yeah, that'll do it. Uh, so that's a twenty to hit. Yep. Um, and she takes five points of uh, piercing damage. Yep. And, and you get some of that back, right? I get five hit points back. Uh, nice. Uh, everybody, before Gilly attacks, uh, give me a perception. Uh, that's a 19. Oh, nice. I'm good. 20. Ooh, 20. All three of you uh, hear the melodic sound of Dos Amigos as they are singing something called Evil woman <laughs> wow. in the background. <laughs> Gilly, you're up. You know. Um. If this bitch just hadn't come with them cookies. <laughs> I guess Ray of Frost again. Sure, hit her. Mm. Eighteen. Eighteen hits. And is it just one d four? Math is hard. One d eight. One d eight. Well, when you can't see it, it's <clears throat> eight. Nicely done. Uh, Gilly uses her magical arcane powers, casts a sheet of ice at her, and <laughs> causes her to turn pure white. Directly behind her, you see Mendoza take the chair and crack her over the skull. With an 18, shatters her into a million pieces. Uh, some of the townspeople emerge from the buildings and go, Mendoza has saved us. Wow. <laughs> Can we burn this place down now? Right after I kill Mendoza. <laughs> Mendoza points out, no, no, it was a group effort. Because <laughs> Mendoza's the only one who has treated you nicely. Oh. All right, we won't kill Mendoza. What time is it? I need to go to bed. It's after we'll just, midnight. <laughs> we'll just burn the town down after we leave tomorrow. Okay. Something, yeah, something still feels a bit off about this. Just her doing all this. Right, let's As go back to the end and get some sleep and take it on in the morning. Quick question. Mendoza, did you know who that woman was? Uh, it looks like her sister. So her sister was probably the witch, not her. Quick question. Does she sure. have any more sisters? No. Okay. Are you sure? No. <laughs> The child she tried to abduct, is that actually her mother or was that child adopted? Uh, no, that child's real. Well, no shit. Not, that not, not, real. not adopted. Oh. <laughs> hey, you're talking to the Slayer of the Witch. This is the Witcher. That's the name he's going to take. He's not that hot. Mendoza the Witcher. 
Ay, Dios mío. And Dios's charisma is four. He's that hot. Yeah. Uh, Necesito mucho cerveza. Okay, let's go back and get some drinks. We'll go back to the inn. And uh, and then I'm going drinky drinks. I'm feeling like I should follow Mendoza and then drain him of his life force energy, and then go back. Yeah, like that sounds like a really good plan. Like it's a final curse. Yeah, yeah. In the background, you hear Dos Amigos (laughs) playing a new tune called "I Need a Hero." Yeah. I hope another witch comes into town and kills all of you at some point. (laughs) You have successfully killed uh, the other witch, which was no mean feat because she had 82 fucking hit points Jeez. and could do 2d8 plus 4 twice on those claws of hers. I gotta hand it to you, I really thought I'd kill you guys on this one. Uh, but you performed miraculously, so Jesse, what'd you think? That was, that was pretty good. I was... Uh... I was a little worried that uh, that it was going to be more. As we got the first ghost, I was like, oh, is there going to be another ghost? I was like, what other, how many more witches are there in this town? I thought about making it a coven. I like the fact that top five hit points is going to put down the gingerbread man. But no. I thought it, it's, it's gingerbread. Hey, all right, you we said it's supposed to be an easy encounter. Yeah, right. Yeah. So whack, whack, whack. 100s. They're 100s, man. This, uh, this gingerbread had double digit hit points. 12. <laughs> this, this gingerbread had. Like, I had 14. Half, had half as many hit points as I do. <laughs> and, Jesus Christ. Had as many hit points <laughs> as I had at first level. Bit my ass. Yes. Oh my gosh. That was cookie great. had was first good. level fighter hit points. Uh, that's right. Uh, <laughs> uh, Rob, what'd you think? Oh, it was a blast. Uh. uh I, I was amazed that you didn't fall for the illusion. I was really pissed off there. Uh, and of course, Carrie. I fell to the fire. Prostated herself in front of the BBG. <laughs> so sad. So disappointed. My characters right? always wanted to be someone familiar, and he was just not only refused, but just castigated and. Rebuffed. Rebuffed. With <laughs> With claws. Oh, well, you won't have to worry about shit. Her self-esteem has taken a serious <laughs> hit. I guess if you'd have become her familiar, we'd have had to switch sides and go on her side and take out the town. Which really wouldn't have been that disappointing. See? Not exactly. at all. I mean, we're planning on doing it as we leave tomorrow anyway. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Suddenly, uh, Kelsey uh, blacks out and goes full vampire feasting <laughs> on the souls of every townsperson and coming out gluttonous like Ugh. you suck their blood i'll play with the entrails i don't suck blood i feed on the life force energy and i wither them to their deaths well that's i fine. don't suck oh. blood that's oh so that's they're creepy. all dried up and we can use them for firewood yeah yes yeah. like mommies like mommies yeah like that's husks how we, of people left that's over. how we burn the village down Folks, this is why we're called Murder Hobo Inc. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. Follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive if you want to shoot shit about D&D. Join our Discord if you want to play with us or be on the talk show, M Hobo Inc. Twitter or Gmail. Hit us up. Uh, if you need some customized dice, at Pirate Dog Dice on Twitter. And if you need to uh, make a game smell a whole lot better than this mess, uh, Adventure Sense has 60 mm. different aromatic features at Mm -hmm. oddfishgames.com folks uh we do have the margu campaign tomorrow so join us for that and tuesday we have the talk show uh thanks to these guys for making the two hours just zip on by and almost dying (laughs) uh folks for all of us here at murder of the week thanks for joining us we hope to see you again big kiss and wave bye everybody